it's just not Christmas without Mariah, is it? <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, long time no see. I have not made a video on this channel since I was pregnant with my baby, who's now one. Mm. <laughs> uh, if you don't know who I am, you probably don't, but my name is Rhiannon and welcome. I'm so happy to have you here and if you enjoy this video, please subscribe, like, comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I apologise if I don't look uh, at the right spot. It's just because it's really weird talking to a camera rather than actually seeing my face like you would um, on FaceTime or something like that. So, yeah, if my eyes keep uh, flicking, that's the reason why. <laughs> First thing, if anyone is interested, I have these gorgeous little elf earrings. Now, these are from a handmade store called Kenzie Collective, and I will link them below, but they have so many nice handmade earrings. This woman is absolutely amazing. If you love uh, earrings in general, if you like quirky earrings in general, if you like supporting uh, mums who have businesses from home this is the woman for you she is amazing and her instagram is just oh, so lovely so i'll put the link below uh, to her instagram and her website and um go over there have a look give her some love she is really amazing she lives in queensland and yeah she's just fab so yeah so the title of this video is what to put in your Christmas Eve bag and your stocking for a one-year-old. Now she is 13 months at the moment. Her name is Clara and you know when I was thinking about what sort of things to put in it's actually really difficult because you know you think about things that you would give an adult or an older child and it's much much easier but obviously a little person they don't really have any wants necessarily uh, but I have noticed that over the past, I would say the past couple of months, she has shown some favoritism to some things. So that's been a little bit helpful, especially when it came to her birthday, which is uh, just past and for Christmas. So this is what I got her. Everything will be linked below. I also have a discount code for one of the items and I'll tell you which one that is when I get to it. So I'll do the Christmas uh, Eve bag first. I'm doing a bag this year and only because I don't have that many items to put into it so I didn't see the need for this really big box. I suppose if you are really wanting to have a keepsake there are some really lovely boxes that you can get out there you can make one yourself but I thought this bag was super cute really appropriate because there's not really that much in it uh, but the bag is super cute I'll show you so here is her Christmas Eve bag it has glittery stars on it and there was two designs you could get this one or there was one that had sort of like a wreath uh, print over it. Um, yeah, so there's that. It's just um, made of like a calico material and it's a drawstring, so super easy. So that's that. And that's from Isla and the Fox on Etsy. And I think this, this was $13, I think. So pretty affordable. I know some of the Christmas Eve boxes can get really pricey so this is a great alternative to that um, so inside that I'm going to be putting a Christmas book this is the Christmas book I'm going to be putting in and it's a Peter Rabbit tale called A Christmas Wish and this book is so lovely um, it's got uh, sort of those thick cardboard pages which is perfect for a, uh, a little child um, even up to three years old I would say and yeah it's just really cute and it's about Christmas Eve and how Peter Rabbit is uh, waiting for Santa and he actually falls asleep waiting and then he wakes up on Christmas morning and Santa has already come so yeah look how cute these illustrations are 
so sweet. And I bought this from David Jones and it was uh, $12.99. So really nice book, I think. So sweet. And then also in the Christmas Eve bag, I have a set of pyjamas. I ordered these pyjamas, gosh, probably two months ago, three months ago. And it's from a New Zealand brand. I'll just open them. So we don't get the lovely uh, snuggly pyjamas, you know, the, the long johns and, you know, the flannelette pyjamas, nothing like that. So I thought this was a, a really lovely alternative. So here, I'll show you the top. So it's a two-piece set. And here it is. So this is the singlet top. And it has a little snowflake um, print on it, which is very sweet. A little bow. So there's the top. And then there are these little shorts. Even if it's too hot, I can just um, put the, uh, the top on. And yeah, it's just a little bit Christmassy, just a little bit nice. And yeah, so those were not cheap. They were $49. So yeah, so cute. And it has these little cute little buttons. And the brand Jamie K um, uses organic cotton for all of their clothing. And if you haven't seen them before, uh, go and check them out because they're just really lovely and uh, everything that I've purchased from them has washed really well and it, I'm pretty sure I will keep them for uh, following babies as well. So yeah, if I do buy things from them, I try to get some things that are gender neutral. I think there's only two things that I've bought from them that I really couldn't put on a boy. Uh, so yeah. The, um, yeah, so that is everything. Oh, other than I plan on getting her uh, like a little gingerbread cookie. Um, but I was hoping that we would make them together. So, yeah, and obviously I haven't done that yet. So, yeah, those are my Christmas Eve uh, presents. Up next is the uh, stocking. So the stocking is most people, well, that I've heard of, they uh, say that Santa fills the stocking and then uh, there's one big present from Santa under the tree and then the rest is from mum and dad. Uh, I don't know exactly what we're going to be telling Clara. I still have to sort of have the chat with my husband about that. But anyway, I'm, I'm still giving her a stocking and presents under the tree this year. So um, I'll show you the stocking. So this is the stocking. It is sort of like a satin material. It's not silk. It's a bit thicker than that. And then inside is just white. And this fur is, it's not white. It's not pure white. It's, yeah, it's a bit off. Um, and there's a little hanger. It's quite big. And I bought this one from Maya and I I got it in the sale, uh, I think, last year because she had it last year, but I didn't put anything in it. And I think I got it on sale for like $10 or something, but the retail price I know for the Maya uh, stockings is about $30. But, you know, it's something that you reuse every year. It's not really going to make that much of a difference um, how much you pay. I suppose... A cheaper one uh, the material might deteriorate over time and if you do really you know want to keep it nice and use it year after year I would probably invest in the first thing that is in her stocking is uh, another book <laughs> and it's the pokey or the pokey little puppy's first Christmas and it's a golden book, but it's like a special edition one because it has the uh, the red uh, side and it's just really cute. It's a cute little story. So cute. I'll show you that. And then 
I saw this and obviously she's only one but I know that she likes to put things on her head and uh, she loves sunglasses and things like that so I got her these reindeer ears to wear uh, for Christmas Day if she wants and these are oh I didn't tell you how much this was this was I think two dollars I got it from Aldi two dollars go to Aldi they have some Christmas things anyway reindeer ears I got these from La Visa and they were $15 but they're really like sturdy they're not just like those really floppy ones um, yeah so I think those are really cute and then she's recently just grown a lot more hair and I've been putting her hair up in pigtails so cute um, so I got a couple of clips for her for Christmas so uh, the first set are these, if you can see them, and these are from um, uh, Josie Jones and they're $6.95 a pair and they have lots of lots of different um, uh, fabrics and things like that but this is the uh, Liberty fabric so if you like Liberty fabric items these are for you <laughs> and then uh, the next thing or the next hair uh, clip I have a code for underneath and yeah that will give you a discount if you would like to purchase them so these are little piggy clips and yeah I don't think they're real leather I do believe they're synthetic but they're so cute they're just on little alligator clips and uh, these are from Little Bow Co and this is the, the red leather. I don't know if the red is listed. I think I messaged her and asked her if she had red ones but there's lots of different colours on there and they're really sweet, really good quality so yeah just make sure she doesn't lose them. <laughs> oh and they were I think $15 for the pair so and then one more thing uh, I saw these and I fell in love with them just yeah they were just so cute and just perfect now I know I said before that a lot of the uh, Christmas things they're sort of like snow themed or winter themed or something like that so I thought that this was a bit refreshing to see so here they are, they're these little peg dolls and look Santa is wearing like board shorts and he's got his little hat and then Mrs. Claus, she has her little bathers, I just, ah, I just love them so much and these are from Little Peg, uh, it's an Etsy store and I this set was I think $45 now this is hand painted like that is hand done like uh, it's it's incredible she is so talented so amazing and yeah so I thought those were really cute so that is everything that I've I got for my daughter for her stocking and her uh, Christmas Eve bag uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you would like me to do the Christmas uh, Christmas present video, uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you here again. <laughs>